Whoever said that red cars go faster can't have been watching many challenge this season. That is a massive accident. The Blue Bandits, Paul Stokel and Grant Denyer have dominated the field and head to the canyons of the Gold Coast well in control. The same, though, can't be said for the rest. Oh, Scott Barguana! And it's another jump! That's huge! Bang, Ravage! So, oh, gone again! Stokel's in a lot of trouble. Oh, he's run wide again! Oh, look at this! It's oh, easy, it's easy! Oh, oh no, contact! But that is massive damage. Big addition of a V8 legend, a rideless A1 GP star and the son of a gun may just mean they won't have it their own way this time out. It's round six of the mini challenge delivered by Pizza Capers. This place, the concrete jungle. Welcome to the mini challenge on the streets of Surfers Paradise. And one man who knows this street circuit very well, Will Davison. This is a circuit that has some really unique challenges. Yeah, it sure does, Bryony. It's a fantastic circuit. It really has lots of its own unique challenges. You know, we've got crowned roads, lots of bumps, lots of fast chicane, so you've got to know how to use the curbs, lots and lots of concrete. So the braver you are, the closer you want to get to the concrete, the faster you're going to go. So Pete's going to play a big issue on the drivers this weekend. The brakes are going to get hot. Drivers will make mistakes. So um, really, it's going to be who makes the least amount of mistakes. We'll throw in, into the mix some first-time drivers in the Mini Challenge. There's just nine races left for the season and they could factor in the championship points race. With A1GP not appearing on the Gold Coast, Team Australia pilot John Martin was left without a ride this weekend. But instead of sitting on the couch, he'll now strap into a Mini for the very first time. It's a very cool, quick little car. It's uh, very surprising. It's uh, moves around quite a bit, so it's, uh, no, it's just been it's just been really fun. Obviously, first session ever in a in a tin top, so it's uh, no very entertaining. While Martin is all new to sedan racing, one man who isn't is Glenn Seaton. The two-time V8 Supercar champion is the latest guest Uber Star driver. He may not race full time anymore, but is enjoying himself just as much as ever. I haven't driven actually a front-wheel drive since '84, so that's how long it's been with the Nissan days. Um, so, uh, but uh, this is what 2005 was last time I ran here at Indy, and um, it hasn't changed much. Still a lot of concrete, and uh, but geez, it's enjoyable. They're really enjoyable little cars to drive. They brake so well, they handle so good, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. The son of one of Seaton's former Bathurst co-drivers will line up alongside him this weekend. Ryan Hansford, son of the late Bathurst winner and world motorcycle ace Greg Hansford, will make his mini debut after competing this year in the popular Gemini series in Queensland. I'm not going to take any pressure upon myself to, uh, to do well, but obviously my dad was a, a well-renowned motorcycle racer and car racer, so I just feel I've got the ability to do this and I think I've left my runners as long as I can and now it's time to get in there and have a good crack. It's the business end of the mini challenge season and the Deco Rug racing teammates have been pushing each other to the limits almost all year. Had a good couple of dices together at, uh, at Phillip Island where we both accused each other of holding each other up, you know, which is what two knucklehead race drivers tend to do when they're in the one, one space for too long. Um, but look, we have a great, a great rivalry that probably gets more out of the both of us. You know, we drag ourselves up by, you know, treating each other as hard as we possibly can. And, um, it's really good fun. Yeah, it's very close, you know, it's, it's varied from round to round and it's only been tiny things that have separated us, so there's never going to be a massive difference between us, you know, he's a very good, a very good driver and, you know, has proved himself in other ranks, so never an issue there, it's just um, a matter of, we, we drive the car slightly differently and I think some tracks suit my driving and some suit his, um, you know, hopefully this is one that suits me. You'd think that with his recent winning form, Nathan Karate would also be deemed a title contender. But eligibility dramas from the last two rounds at Sandown and Phillip Island have seen him wiped from the scorecard. And Nathan, obviously, as a lot of people know, was found with an illegal brake pad in his car from the Sandown event. In addition to that, unfortunately, Nathan was also caught with an ineligible catalytic converter in um, Phillip Island recently. The nature of one-way category is everyone's got the same mousetrap to play with. Um, so from a category manager's point of view, it's important to us that that is complied with so that everyone knows and is confident that their, their car is the same as everybody's. When we come back, it's race one from the Gold Coast. Right. 